Shani Begum and I'm back with my ninth video in the Mindset Shift series and I am so happy to be back and always talking to you and sharing my learnings, understandings in this particular area where I can help you maybe think a bit differently that can help you in your career ahead during your interviews or maybe upskilling yourself in any way that you can and in any way that it helps you. So today that something that we will talk about is something very practical and it is extremely, extremely important. Wondering what it is? The word that starts with A. Actions. That is it. So today we are going to talk about what is important to take actions. Why am I not taking actions? Because I have been in that phase as well that I used to think that I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do this, I need to do everything in the world but I just can't even go get up, pick up a glass of water and drink because I'm just lying in my bed and thinking. So what is that that really gets you going, makes you wear your track pants and just start jogging and just do everything that you have ever been thinking of doing. And that is my friend is goal setting. I would like to really give credit to campus consultancy and especially Josh Farr for this video because this is where I learned it from. So we were in a session and he told us that how important it is to do weekly goal setting and if you must have read his post somewhere and if not then I would like to tell you he broke up the week by each hour and you would be really really surprised to know that how many hours do we have in a week. I'm not going to tell you, you have to really look out for it. But the important bit over here is when I started planning each hour of my week, it is really simple right now, okay? It's not difficult. You have to use Google Calendar or any calendar, even if you want to write it down, make your own sheet. Remember how we used to do in school, we used to make timetables? It really works because the timetable that I had, I used to follow it very diligently and after that I never had a timetable so I used to waste my day around. So yeah, I started making my weekly calendar on Google Calendar and I used to divide my day in the morning what I'll do when I get up, I'll spend some time with myself or and then eat and then start maybe you know start with going through my emails and then i have my classes at some times and then when will i be studying when will i be going for a break and everything so this is not about i'm not going to tell you what you have to do in week what i am going to tell you is it is necessary to make a plan and that's why because when i started making a plan i started setting my weekly goals that is when I realized that I can do so much in a day because the work that I need to do doesn't really take so much of time and there was another really good revelation I would say for me while doing the goal setting is that for some particular task I wrote that I will be able to finish that in one hour and for some particular task I said oh no it was going to take me a lot of time you know maybe I'll give it two hours or three hours and when I really did that work, I realized the work that I had assigned for one hour literally took me one and a half hour. And the work that I assigned for three hours actually took me half. So what this goal setting really helps you to even understand that what you're naturally good at, what are your instincts? You know, maybe that is an area of my, that's something that I'm passionate about and I was able to do it faster than other work. So it also helps you understand that where you are good at, where do you really need to improve and then also helps you understand what exact times you have to give for the exact task. And that is such a good feeling because in some way or the other you are able to manage your week, manage your day and you are able to get things done. By understanding this, it really helps you further build a better timetable for yourself and work on your strengths, improve the areas where it's challenging for you and it also understand what particular task is really not taking you towards your goal and then you have to chuck that out. 
So been there, done that, and that's why I'm here telling you all these things. It is an ever learning, ever growing process, and this is a really good method of, you know, putting things down. And also, there's one thing with me. I don't know if it really resonates with you. If you really write something down, if you put that time and deadline to it, I'm. I was like, I have to do this. I have committed to this, but I'm very sure that if you start somewhere. you know setting your weekly goals and daily goals it is definitely going to make you understand about your strengths even better and the areas of improvement so thank you so much for listening to me and i hope this video has been really really insightful and you are able to gain something out of it and apply in your life thank you so much and have a good week ahead